Hello and welcome to Driven, powered by the new Petronas Premax 95 with Advanced Energy Formula. Two weeks ago in our Hot Hatch episode, we weren't too kind with Mother Nature barreling up and down Bukit Tinggi in such a, I would say, spirited manner. That episode is all about performance. So today we're going to bring it all the way down and talk about efficiency instead. We have Honda Jazz Hybrid, Mitsubishi Artrage and of course the new Ford Fiesta EcoBoost. So let's find out which one of us will reach Genting Highlands with just 10 ringgit worth of fuel. This week on Driven, we're all about efficiency. To help these small cars get more mileage, we are filling up with the new Petronas Primax 95, which has been improved with Advanced Energy Formula. Now that's the same technology that helped the Mercedes-AMG Petronas Formula 1 team use 30% less fuel while retaining their power output. So now we are refueling the cars with exactly 10 ringgit worth of the new Petronas Primax 95. Now based on current fuel prices, we should be getting about 4.8 litres of fuel. Now according to our calculations, Gunting Highlands is approximately 60 kilometers away from where we are. That means our cars will have to average at least 12.5 kilometers per litre. Now, that may not sound like much to you, especially when all these three cars are claimed to do more than 20 kilometers per litre. The problem is, to get to the top of Gunting Highland, you have to go through uphill sections, long highway stretches, and hey, this is Kuala Lumpur. There's a lot of jams to go through. So now that we are done with the refueling, let's find out who will reach the top without running out of fuel. Yeah, you sure won't make it like Just look at your car, you got body kit, sticker, spoiler all. Hey, we're doing efficiency challenge here, no? You bring racing car for what? At least my stickers can be removed anytime I want. Your attractive Mirage is just plain ugly. The lines are all over the place and the proportions are just so wrong. Hey, if you want to bring looks into the picture, my jazz sure win lah. It's familiar, but it's got nice, clean, elegant lines. Yeah, but not as elegant as someone who wore a white dress last year. <laughs> Oi! Can we get moving now? Now? A bit early lah. Jam, wait. Don't worry, I know this road, no jam one. This road, I know sure, no jam one. <sighs> Trust half. As always. Well, since we're obviously going nowhere, let's skip to the technology scene. Now, some of you may still be a little bit confused as to how these three different vehicle technologies work. So, with the help of some household items, we're going to try and explain these technologies to you in simple and easy to understand ways. Now, the Ford Fiesta EcoBoost is powered by a tiny 1 litre engine. And you'd be thinking, wow, so small, can move up. However, it has something called a turbocharger, which is sort of a compressor that pushes more air into the engine. More air means a bigger explosion. A bigger explosion would mean more power. Now, John over here is going to blow as much air as possible into the balloon in just five seconds. And my tiny little assistant will be doing the same with a pressurized air canister. Now, clearly, force induction wins. So, with a turbocharger, a small little engine can go a long way, giving you more savings and more power at the same time. The Honda Jazz is a hybrid, but what exactly is a hybrid? It's basically a car with an internal combustion engine paired with an electric motor. So it gives you an extra boost of power, saving you fuel as you drive. Look at this guy on a bike right here. Looks easy enough, right? But what happens when you put a big heavy load on? Suddenly it's not so easy anymore, is it? But that is an electric bike, so you get a boost of power as you ride along. Simple enough, right? Hybrid, giving you extra power with less effort. Now, the Mitsubishi Atraj does things the good old-fashioned way, by going on a diet. No fancy schmancy here, just keep the weight low and a small 1.2-litre engine is all you need. The concept couldn't be simpler. Take a look at this trolley here. When a big, heavy, round guy, who can't even button his coat up properly, gets on it, it takes a lot of energy to push it.
but take the weight off, and even a small guy can push the trolley. And that's what the Atrage is like. Okay then, may the best car win. Well, looks like nothing's changed. We're still in a jam. And it's worth noting that this Atrage comes equipped with a CVT, which makes it really, really smooth. I mean, look at me. I'm practically gliding through traffic. Stupid half. So, we're not moving. And I'm left here enjoying the Honda Jazz Hybrid's, let's say, grey interior. There's no touchscreen. There's no leather steering wheel. There's no audio controls in the steering wheel. There's no leather seats. Let's just say this car feels seven years old. But what's probably modern is the engine, as this is a hybrid. So there's an auto stop start system. It turns off the engine when the car stops, like now. So in times like this, it's good. So it doesn't use any fuel. If your everyday drive involves a lot of jams, well, this is the car to buy. Or you know, if you have an idiot friend called Harv, buy this car. Hey, Afris, I bet you're feeling super hot now, right? Ah, this is what you get lah when you drive a hybrid car. When the engine shuts off, so does the aircon, bro. <laughs> hey, shut up lah, Hav. It's your fault you got stuck in this jam, okay? Someone said, confirm no jam. Ah. Now, unlike the other two cars, the Ford Fiesta comes with a dry dual-clutch transmission. Now, on paper, it's supposed to offer uh, quicker gear shifts, However, in uh, slow driving conditions such as uh, traffic jams like this, it's a bit jerky. Why so jam one? Ah, finally! The road is now clear! Woohoo! Okay, now at speed, the Ford Fiesta EcoBoost feels very at home and it's very refined compared to the other two cars. And the ride is quite comfortable too. Having a turbo keeps the revs low, uh, saves me fuel, but it also gives me over 120 horsepower to play with. All from a one litre package, okay? Hey, why is he going so fast? Half! This is an eco run lah, Budo. Hey guys, now this is what I call power, man. I am going to smoke you guys! <laughs> half, half. Heavy footed lah, as usual. But it does have the power, and I don't. I mean, I won't call the Atrage slow exactly, but it just takes some time to get up to highway speed and it makes a racket getting there. People think hybrid cars are more efficient everywhere, but that's just not true. On highways, they perhaps use a bit more fuel than usual. See, what happens is, because it can't brake so much, they can't charge the batteries. So when you lose charge, you lose power to the electric motor in front. At that point, your hybrid car becomes a normal petrol car. Just that you need to carry all the electric motors, and batteries in the back. Hardly makes sense now, does it? Okay, so we are finally heading uphill and all three cars are still running. That's a good sign. This Honda rolls a bit too much through the corners, but you know what? Quality control is actually pretty good. And the instantaneous torque from the electric motor really helps it along to pull it up the hill. I so don't want to be in John's Atrage right now. The Atrage is really not bad in the turns. It grips well. But as it's got a CVT and not much torque, you're really going to have to find some revs if you want to get going. So it just goes... Aah! Yes, the car does find gradients like these a bit of a struggle. Oh, this is so much fun. Now this is another environment where the uh, Fiesta EcoBoost is in its element. Handling is so sharp, so direct, it's like it can read my mind. 
and the engine, it's so smooth, so linear. No wonder it won the International Engine of the Year Award three times in a row. Wow, half is really barreling up. Lah. When did this become a race? I'm gonna get there first! I'm gonna win this and nail this! They're gonna bite my dust! Oh, this engine, this whole package, everything! Beautiful, it's so much fun! Whoa! Did I just run out of fuel? No. No. Hey, you saw half just now, right? Yeah. Stuck by the side of the road. What happened? Did he run out of fuel or something? Must be lah. You know, think too much about boost. Forgot the eco part lah. Typical half. Oh, here he is. <laughs> you guys left me there. What happened? You ran all the way up lah. I ran out of fuel. <laughs> he ran up because he ran out of fuel. Get it? Can we do this again? Uh? I'm sure the next one I'll win the race. What race? The race lah! Wasn't it supposed to be, you know, the first person to reach the top? No. It's an efficiency challenge. Did you not get the memo? I don't think so. But anyway, for a challenge that I'm not part of, who won? Who else, Mr. Flower Power here? Why, of course, I picked the right car. The Honda Jazz Hybrid, even going through all your stupid jam, all this uphill, managed to get 14 and a half kilometers per litre. How good is that? Yours? Well, me and my Atrach, we managed 13 and a half kilometers per litre, which is quite good, considering I don't have hybrid or turbo support. You don't have looks either. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's not the best looking car in the world, but at least it's light. How about you? Oh, uh, for a challenge again that I'm not part of, I average about 11-ish. That's not bad actually. But here's the most important question. Did you guys have fun? No, I almost fell asleep in there. Yeah, I think I had the most boring drive of my life. See, the Ford Fiesta EcoBoost is so much fun. With that engine, it's a dream to drive. So there you have it. Hybrid, lightweight, turbo. They all help you save fuel. But what makes the biggest difference is the joker behind the wheel. And that's it for this episode of Driven. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Driven, brought to you by the new Petronas Premax 95 with Advanced Energy Formula.